platform. And then we want to attach these two motors. In order to fix these motors onto the base platform, we take these really long screws, which is 25 mm. Let's do this. Take a screw. That's a nut. Yeah, oh, that's a nut. Oops. So make sure this giant protrude out of this way. It's a giant white thing. Uh huh. Under this. It's nuts. Or it might be the bolt. Did you basically do the same thing to the other motor? And you also just attach the screws, which are the long ones, and then you get a bolt. Or not. And fasten the nut on. Pull up. And if you're making this, make sure to tighten the screws with a screwdriver because the nuts don't really hold on. Oh, it sounds really good, screwy. And then you peel the bundle of wires into four, four wires, and then you solder them onto the motors. Okay, and then you just solder the tips of the wires on. That was the wire. That was another thing for connecting. And then you basic. And then you have to solder. What the what an adult solder the wire on, or solder with the help of an adult. Don't, depends on how old you are. Okay, looks like we got one wire and then you turn it, basically you just turn it over to attach the other wire. <coughs> and then you just do the same thing to the other motor. It should look like this after you're soldered. <coughs> and then And then you're done. That's the only direction wheel to the body of the robot with the medium screws. Remember not to use the tiny ones and use the medium ones and attach it with two screws and two nuts. And the only direction wheel is basically a huge ball inside, a tiny ball inside a huge socket. The only direction wheel, and please don't mind the noise in the background, my little brother is watching something, and it should look like this. The battery holder, which holds five 
AA batteries. Let me check. If <laughs> yes, it is 1.5 volt AA batteries. And you attach it with still the medium screws, screws, and you have to attach it using those rails, not the holes. You have to use the rails on the bottom, and then screw it on to the body using the nuts, and we have to position them over there. And you have to use AA batteries, 5 AA batteries for the robot, and it has the ball wheel, or it's a what wheel. Now we put the wheels on the car by simply shoving them onto their axles. This might take a while because the wheels tend to not go into the axles. And then you should have a car that looks like a platform with a battery box. Install the platforms for sensors and the camera that we'll add later on. And still we do it with the screws and the nuts. Yeah, and you have to use the medium one again, not the small one. Oops. And the platform is might sag down before you attach the nuts, but that's okay. And he's just attaching the nuts. Pound the server platform towards the front, and uh, we take the right side fixture this fixture has one hole in the surface and make sure that we install this way not in the inner but install from the outside otherwise we're going to mess up platform is in the front and the battery box is in the back when you put the top platform on remember to pay attention to the holes the left hole is the hole on the left is the smaller one, and the hole on the right is the bigger one. And you should like, be able to see the holes perfect, perfectly lined up if you line the attachers here right. Now that we have the car ready, we can move on. You install the upper platform, you have to leave this hole over here open in order to install PC Juno. Juno on the robot and we're basically done. Camera with a PVT platform which connects to the USB over here. 